हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इट इज़ द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट जियोलॉजी ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड नाउ आई विल ट्राई टू गिव वैल्यूएबल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द जियोलॉजी ऑफ पाकिस्तान नाउ वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्टेटोग्राफी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ट्राई टू नो वट इज स्टार्टा स्टार्टा मीन्स लेयर्स ऑफ रॉक्स and because there are different depositional environments so strata deposited in layers form more than 90% deposit in marine environment and what is stratigraphy stratigraphy means description of rocks in sequence in simple words it is the description of rocks in sequence form and there are different environment of uh, deposition and different in lithology and age may be same but lithology can be different because of that different depositional environments so in simple words it is the description of rocks in sequence and it is deposited in layer forms as i told you uh, it is deposited in strata form age may be same but lithology can be different it depends upon the source and energy of the media and uh, now i will try to tell you about a geomorphology geo means earth and morph means appearance of anything and logy means study so basically it is the study of the appearance of anything which is uh, on the earth surface like mountains and lakes and etc in pakistan there are sea on the south in uh, south border of pakistan there are arabian sea and mountains in the northern areas of pakistan and uh, in sindh area there are desert like thar nagar parkar and the major mountains in pakistan are himalaya karakoram and koe hindu kush and seven highest peaks in pakistan which is very interesting seven highest peaks in pakistan himalaya started from japan to pakistan and another interesting thing is that indian shield is also exposed in pakistan in uh, nagar parkar area kirana hills and their age is precambrian and i think as a student of geology you know that the age of the indian shield is precambrian and these precambrian rocks are exposed in pakistan uh, near nagar parkar area uh, the name is kirana hills and now i will try to uh, tell you about the difference between gulf and bay what is gulf and what is bay gulf means there there are three sides are land and it is attached with one side on the sea it means there are three sides are land and one side is sea and the bay is that it is narrow path of water three sides are land and one side is river or any uh, sea or ocean and now i will try to tell you about the minerals and gems ores in pakistan in pakistan there are in gadani quetta and mangora and ladakh there are important gems ores in pakistan and uh, himalayas are the white mountain belt in pakistan it is a very long mountain belt from japan to pakistan and their width is about 160 to 400 km and it is about uh, the total length of the mountain belt is about 2500 km comprised of nh elon mountains northern part of pakistan there are phanerozoic up to eocene age mountains and it is formed due to the collision of india with russia and formed this vast mountain as you know that as a student of geology there are uh, continental plates collision and uh, uh, either continental plates collide with the oceanic plate or either oceanic oceanic plate collision so these are the different types and it is the topic of the plate tectonics 
uh, I will try to describe in, uh, it in detail in the plate tectonics subject. But uh, the Ma Himalayas are formed due to the collision of the Indian and Eurasian plates in Eocene age. And now I will try to give you some information about the geography of Pakistan. So the location of Pakistan is it is uh, situated in the southern Asian continent. Uh, the total land boundaries of Pakistan are 6774 km on the eastern side of Pakistan I mean on the eastern side of Pakistan there are India and which consists 2912 km border with Pakistan and on the western side there are Afghanistan and Iran so the border of Afghanistan with Pakistan is about 2430 km and uh, the border of uh, Iran with Pakistan is about 909 km long. On the south of Pakistan, Arabian Sea. So, there are coast of Arabian Sea and Arabian Sea attached with Pakistan in the southern part of Pakistan. And uh, on the north of Pakistan, there are China. And the border of Pakistan with China is about 523 km long. And there are two major basins in Pakistan. Number one is Indus Basin and uh, number two is uh, Balochistan Basin. And uh, Indian B Indus Basin is a uh, Gunwanian and uh, Balochistan Basin is Laurasian. And the rocks in Pakistan is from Precambrian to recent and also Pakistan is called the Museum of Geology. As a student of geology, you know that in Pakistan there are the salt range formation which has age about Precambrians. And so there are from Precambrian to recent age rocks are here in Pakistan. So Pakistan is called the Museum of Geology. And as a student of geology, I will requested all of you to please come and visit these all of the areas of uh, which are related to our studies and which are related to our subject geology and you will enjoy all of these.